Alrighty guys, uh, here we are again with the uh, B18B1. We're going to be doing our cylinder uh, leak down test um, to make sure the uh, head is good before we start to drill out those bolts right here that somebody already attempted and failed. Alrighty, we just uh, pulled the um, valve cover off. The uh, engine right now is at uh, top dead center and we're going to start doing the uh, leak down test. We're going to start with cylinder number one and then over here I have a list where I'll uh, record the results and I will keep you guys posted. Okay, we're going to check cylinder number one for leakage. We have the um, OTC tester hooked up. I'm going to move this dial. I'm going to stop at 90 psi. And then we have 79 psi on the other gauge. And unfortunately, we have a leaking exhaust valve, a number one cylinder. So right now we are set up on cylinder number three, and this cylinder has even more leakage. You can clearly hear the air um, escaping. I also check our timing marks. We have a top to center on number three cylinder. And again, we have exhaust valve issues. Okay, now on to cylinder number four. Again, number four is at top to center. Well, so far, this is definitely the best cylinder out of all of them we've tested so far. There is still some leakage. And again, exhaust valve. And now on to our final cylinder, uh, cylinder number two. Again, it's at top dead center. And again, this cylinder also has excessive leakage. Again, exhaust valve issue. And number two, definitely cut the center. So, Obviously, I'm not going to be wasting our time 
drilling out both bolts because this engine is going to need a cylinder head. Now, do we send this one out and get it checked out and new valves, or do we take a chance and buy a used cylinder head? So here is the results of our cylinder leakage test on this B18B1. Cylinder number three has excessive leakage. So obviously the next step would be to pull the cylinder head off and send the cylinder head out to a machine shop. It may be cheaper just to buy a used cylinder head from a lower mileage B18 engine I think the next thing we need to do though is to check the uh, bearing clearances on the bottom end with some plastic gauge. If those clearances are way out of spec then there is not much point in continuing on this B18B1 build. It would probably be cheaper to find a lower mileage engine.